So today we're going to look at equations involving absolute values. When you have an equation with an absolute value, the first thing you want to do is try to isolate the absolute value so that you want something along the lines of your absolute value with whatever's inside it being equal to some constant. If that constant is positive, then there are two solutions to the absolute value equation. C and its opposite, negative C. Of course, if your absolute value is equal to a negative number, well, absolute values are distances, so they're always positive. So there are no solutions to such an equation. And of course, if your absolute value is zero, then the stuff being operated on by your absolute value is also zero. So let's take a look at some examples. Say we have four minus two thirds times the absolute value of x is equal to negative four. Now again, the first thing you wanna do is isolate the absolute value. So you subtract four on both sides to get the negative two thirds times the absolute value of x is negative eight. And then you multiply both sides by negative three halves, three halves being the reciprocal of two thirds to see that the absolute value of x is equal to 12. This means that there are two solutions. x could be either positive 12 or negative 12. You could potentially have an argument in the absolute value operator that isn't just your single variable. So for example, you could have 2 minus v in the absolute value, and then subtract two, and that being equal to negative one. But still, the first thing you wanna do is isolate the absolute value. And you do that by adding two to both sides so that you get the absolute value of two minus v is positive one. Now, once you've isolated the absolute value, this now splits into two equations 2 minus v is 1, and 2 minus v is negative 1. So 2 minus v is positive or negative 1. And then just solve these equations separately. If 2 minus v is 1, then v is equal to 1. And as 2 minus v is negative 1, then v is equal to 3. And we get our two solutions to this absolute value equation. What if we have u minus two absolute value plus one is equal to one half? Well, in this situation, we isolate the absolute value to get u minus two absolute value is equal to negative one half. But now our absolute value is equal to a negative. And we know that that is not something that can occur. So there are no solutions to this absolute value equation. Finally, if we have you no know, absolute value of three minus four X is equal to zero, then that just gives us the single equation three minus four X is equal to zero. So three is four X and X is equal to three fourths. So when you have an equation involving an absolute value, you want to solve for the absolute value. If the constant on the other side of the equation is positive, you split it into two equations where the argument of the absolute value is equal to either the positive or the negative of that constant. And then you solve. If you get a negative constant on the other side of the equation from the absolute value, then you know you have no solutions and you can stop. And if you get zero on the other side of the equation from the absolute value, then you can just strip off the absolute value bars and the argument of the absolute value must be equal to zero and then you can solve. So that's a quick rundown of how you deal with absolute value equations and a few of the situations that can arise.